Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Took a shot, now he gives a left. job it was sudden it was fast it was direct by Manny Pacquiao Get answer. solid left hand to the head scored well up top Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Side to side. Manny Pacquiao's left now getting into the mix. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Hits him in the mug with the right. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Punched by Manny Pacquiao. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make him miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Manny Pacquiao. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Manny Pacquiao blocks that punch. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Manny Pacquiao. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Blocks the headshot. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Doing great. Final 10 seconds. That's it. Really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Manny Pacquiao started at 106 pounds and then rose up 
and won a super bantamweight belt, but it really wasn't until November of 2003 when he claimed the featherweight title and TKOing Marco Antonio Barrera that he became that big spotlight kind of star. Yeah, that was his coming out party, so to speak. That's when the world found out just who and what Manny Pacquiao was. Side to side, move your head. Nice strike after catching one by Manny Pacquiao. Parries that punch intended for the head. You know, Pacquiao has improved through the years as a defensive fighter. He's got great speed and movement, but also much more sound defensive. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Teddy, is it raw skill? Is it technique? What's the answer for him? Why is he missing so many punches and tiring himself out here? He's forgetting about the idea. The idea that it's not enough just to throw a punch. You have to have a, just blows up, makes a hole in the ground, and when it rains, guess what? You go swimming. He's going to go swimming later. Manny Pacquiao's pitching a shutout right now on Teddy's scorecard. First three rounds all going on his side of the ledger. Back to the body. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Really frustrating his opponent now. Manny Pacquiao so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. Oh, good exchange there. Well-placed left hand there. Halfway through round number four. Showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. Worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Get your hands up! Oh. He wasn't landing a lot of punches, now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? That? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. To the head he goes with a left hand. And he engages in the clinch. Able to cover up that gut. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Good looking uppercut that time. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, he goes down there. And Teddy, did you see how beautifully that was executed? He dipped down to deliver it. And that's what you have to do so you don't give up defense. You drop down and bang. One, two, three, four, five, six. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Manny Pacquiao. It's all right, just keep moving. 
excellent counter punch by Manny Pacquiao. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Hey, he got some of that too. Let's go. All right. All right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. So. New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. But well, this is a sport of profession where hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion. We hope. But it's attached to his jab. It's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab. He has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope he'll be okay the next round. Manny Pacquiao is feeling the sting of that big uppercut. see an issue there didn't land that straight right hand Pacquiao's giving his opponent fits right here his head movement is making for such an elusive target yes it is now the opponent has to make an adjustment he has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top so go downstairs to the place that's not moving down to the body that is start to take away some of that head movement halfway through this round well, that one, was two, his intention, one, and that's two. what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Very clean offense from defense by Manny Pacquiao. Little head hunting with the left. Oh, hands up, hands up. Ten seconds to go in this round. Wow! He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Pacquiao's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockdown winner. Your winner, Manny 